All right, welcome back to Fire in the Lake. This is the start of the fourth coup round. And I looked over the board beforehand, before because I was trying to think of the moves. Mainly I wanted to see if the pivotal events were going to come into play. And I think I've made a fatal mistake as the U.S. And I think, we're, but we're going to play through it. We're going to play through it because I didn't think about it. And honestly, this the way you learn is you make mistakes, right? Okay, that's the beauty of the war game. You can play it over and over again. Obviously, people that did this in real life couldn't make those same mistakes as badly, but yeah, that's, that's sort of the the nature of games. One of the things I've realized is that the U.S. cannot use linebacker two because our support and available is not greater than forty. I was going to just go ahead and use the pivotal event because the U.S., I believe, has the ultimate Trump order in play of, a, of the Trump cards here. And I was going to use that. So I was definitely going to be trying to make that happen. Uh, also, Vietnamization can't be used because there's not less than 20 U.S. troops on the map. It might pop up in a second. Okay. And why would you say that, Jay? Why would you say that? Or Jeremy. Everybody calls me Jay, but um, my name's Jeremy. Uh, it's because we're going to play the Easter Offensive instead. <laughs> we can play this because there are definitely more U.S. or more NVA troops than U.S. troops on the map. This is like 39 or 40, I think, actually, of the NVA. And the U.S. only has like 22 or 3. It's, it's a lot more. It's a lot more. So normally the way it works is that we are at this event, right? We would have this Armored Cavalry come up. But nope, we're going to play a pivotal event, which means we can choose it because no one has selected their first action yet. We are eligible. And we can do that. So, boom. We are going to replace this event. So, actually, the best way to do this is probably just to sit, hit discard on that. This becomes the new event. Okay. The Easter Offensive. And this is the new turn order and everything. And it's uh, we're going we're gonna to basically carry out the event. So, it's actually an event. So, they play, boom, an event like that. What does the Easter Offensive let us do? Well, something very, very nasty. It is going to let us free march. And then NVA troops on locks with no US or Arvin may move a space, but we don't have any troops on locks, so that's not so helpful. And then we get to do a free attack. All NVA troops. So we get free marches, free attacks. Oh boy. What does that mean? It means I'm going to take all the dudes here in Quang Nam, and I'm going to come into Quang Tree. It also means I'm going to take all these troops in the fish hook and some from Tain In, and we're going to go into Quang Duck. We are going to do some mass attacks on the old US. We are going to just mightily, mightily ambush them. I want to make sure I still hold that because it's worth a two and that does count for my victory conditions. And I think this gives me enough to remove everybody because I need two. I need. Actually, this is just an attack. I don't need to necessarily do that. I could actually spread these guys around a little bit. I just realized that. I could come in here and start removing some troops. But I wouldn't be able to get that many. I could come in here. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. Okay, we'll do this. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll do that. And then I have plenty of troops there. I do get some free marches. I don't have to just move troops. I could actually move gorillas in, too. So let's go ahead and bring a couple of gorillas in just for funsies. There we go. Now we're going to get control. Um... I could bring in more gorillas here. This actually is a great move. I might be able to make sure I get control here in a second. So we'll do that. Oh, I have a bunch of cubes here. Let's go ahead and bring those in here. Oh yeah, this is going to be um, very, very bad for the U.S. It's going to be very, very bad. <laughs> this is not going to be good. We'll go ahead and bring one of those in. Okay, so we got our free marches. So I want to march with this guy and go anywhere. I mean, I have free freaking cubes here. I could just do whatever I want. Yeah, I think we'll do that. How many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five. There's four, so we would need eight. I'll show you why in just a second. Sorry, I'm doing all this. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that left that uncontrolled. But, hey, I can free march, so I will move one guy down here. Hot. And then we're going to have to start stacking these. So let's just start, because i got to make room for all these invaders. All right, so then we're going to free march into here. How many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many does he have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. I think that's totally appropriate. Okay. 
We're gonna bring all those guys in. So that's all March. They march there. We'll leave these cubes here. Although honestly, I kind of want to hold this. I do want to grab this too, but we're gonna hold this. Okay, so I've marched all my guys that I want to march. I probably could move these gorillas out too. Try to get some guys in there. Is that really worth it? Why is it not? Is that, that's not a bad idea. Well, actually no, because then I can get more troops because a lot of these troops are going to die. Okay. <laughs> yes, so we'll keep that. So we marched all of our troops. We get free marches. Now we get a free assault. Now we have a special capability, the PT-76. What this means in one attack space, I can subtract one enemy per troop because if we look at the attack for the NBA... We remove one enemy per two NVA troops. Okay, so normally it's a uh, you have to have a two to one advantage, right? And then we remove one attacker per U.S. troop and U.S. base removed. Okay, so we get a free attack. We'll come down here. We have four cubes, two guys that kills these guys off. Return to available. Return to available. That kills off two of our things. So return to available. Return to available. Okay. Um, we're not going to roll. I don't want to have these guys go active for the gorillas. You can do gorillas, but you have to roll a die. And if the die roll is less than the number of gorillas you have there, I think equal to or less, maybe less. Equal to or less. Then we could remove two, but you have to activate all the gorillas. And I'd honestly just rather keep them underground. They're more of a pain in the butt that way. All right, we're going to come here. We're going to do the two for one here. So we have what? Four, seven. Oh, wait. I need 10, don't I? I thought I had more than that. Mm, I do need one more to do this. So we'll do this. We're going to, sorry, I'm going to re reposition that a little bit. There we go. Okay. So now we have eight. We have four. We have eight here. So we can get rid of four cubes here. Return to available one, two, three, four. And then we're going to send uh, all four of the, oh, you can do one at a time. Return to available, return to available, and return to available. Cool. So we lost, we got rid of four, we lost four, okay? We'll come into here. We have one, two, three, four, five. That's more than enough to get rid of this. This does not count as a U.S. cubes troop, or cubes troop, Jesus, troops cube, per U.S. troop and base removes. So we don't have, we only have to lose one piece here, but return to our send to casualties. Have I not been, oh no. I've been saying return to available, haven't I? So there was two there. And there was what four here? Yeah, so that's not terrible. We can we can fix that. I've been saying available, right? Yeah, I have been saying available. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, because we did four. We kill. We took out two here. We took out four here. Right, right, right. Okay. And we, that guy goes back to, that guy goes to casualties, and this goes to casualties. Boom. And then we lose one guy. Return to available because we got rid of a base. Uh, we'll attack in this city. We don't lose any cubes because they're not U.S. troops that were taken out here. And I think I have, what, seven? Oh, no. No, I have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can get rid of all these. Goodbye. And then we're going to come up here, and then we've got, what did I say here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the space we're going to use the PT-76 ability. So we're going to get rid of nine cubes, or we're sending to casualties. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that gets rid of all these. Okay, boom. Right, all right. Wait, where did these guys go? Didn't I have like more than nine went back here? Oh wait, they put them in the wrong place. There we go. Put them in the wrong place. I was like, why didn't that go in the right spot? That makes sense. So the NVA lost a bunch of guys. Like we definitely lost a bunch, but we inflicted just ginormous amounts of casualties here ginormous i don't really know if the u.s is going to be able to come back and win it now um just because they've lost so much men and material i mean that was i was planning on making this a huge thing i was hoping to use linebacker too and then i realized later i was like oh yeah i don't have that ability um wow yeah that was that's that's devastating and they grabbed control of a lot of territory so where does that put the nba they are very close they're very close to securing their victory condition oi 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 
Ah, we did all those attacks, marked all pieces has moved. Yeah, yeah, that was devastating. That's devastating. That was a lot of pieces. Yeah, I thought about maybe launching in Saigon, and I probably should have, because that would have been the backbreaker to hold Saigon, but we did so much damage there. That was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. Okay, so now our good friends, the VC, get to go now. They get an op and special. What do they even want to do? Wow, they just got handed, like, very, very, very good. Now, they could do their event, too, if they wanted. They'll probably save it. Um, they need to kind of get in a better position for this. And I think that's, their event is harder to, I mean, you can use it, but you got to really get, you set yourself up a little better. And we set ourselves up very well with the NBA there. That was quite ridiculous. Um, but as you remember, we're pretty close. We just need to build our opposition just a little more in bases. In fact, I think we need, oh, we're past it. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're way past it. So we could actually win if we can just hold on to the win and keep uh, the NVA from taking away all of our good stuff, all of our opposition we've built and our bases. So we really just want to focus on building bases and keeping opposition very high. And it's pretty high everywhere, honestly. This game has gotten a little out of control. The coin factions, I think... I mean, so one of the things I've noticed when I started playing this is that I've, I was... I played a lot of the first edition, and uh, this this is obviously using the second edition rules, so there's a lot of little changes, little nerfs that were made in the second edition, I think, especially to the U.S., Maybe the USA only got nerfed. Um, so, like, things like uh, the way airstrikes work was different in the first edition. In the first edition, you just got to take away six pieces and then bomb the trail. And then that was awesome. Uh, and here you got to roll a die. And then that sort of makes it... And that definitely nerfs it. Uh, also, I didn't have this part that where if you move troops from the map to available, then the VC may shift a population one level to opposition. That is definitely not in the first edition. And so... That definitely makes it a little riskier to bring a bunch of guys in, and then you have to secure even more territories. I wasn't really thinking about that, honestly, when I made a lot of choices, I think, for the U.S., and I think that kind of hurt my play as them, because, like, they just got totally bushwhacked here. This was just stupid. I should not have put so many guys in here. That was a bad idea. Um, probably should have kept them in a the city that was safe and then be able to fly out or, or, and do things I want to do. But, you know, you, you make mistakes and you learn from them. So now I know when I play the U.S., I need to be a little more aggressive at building up peace like building up the support and be much more wary about that nva easter offensive event when they have the ability to deploy it especially when they have all the troops on the board like they just did the vc probably wants to tax but it wants to keep its opposition up it may just want to play the long game here and just try to do things that build up opposition and it's in a pretty good spot to do that it might want to march, maybe it wants to put two more bases on the board just to help get its victory secured. But it wants to avoid having them taken away by the uh, NVA. So they need to kind of be careful about where they move stuff. Like they don't want to put a base here because the NVA will just take it away from them again. They could definitely build a base here in Quang Nam, but then the NVA would probably be able to quickly take that over. They, could, they can't build a base here, they already have two. So I could rally. I could rally, and what else would I want to do? I could subvert. That would definitely bring down the um, patronage, although patronage is pretty low now, and coin control went way down since we started doing all those attacks. I could tax. Tax is good, but again, I kind of, I might terror and tax. That could be a way to build up resources slowly. I do want to kind of rally here. Hmm. I think we're going to rally and subvert. I think that's what we want to do. There's no city we could... Well, we could rally in Hue. That's pretty hot, actually, and that would be really dope, actually. That would be really great. Um, I think I like that plan a lot, because I also want to rally and put a base here. I just want to get more bases out, and I kind of want to start putting things into Tainan or, you know, start start doing stuff. Start doing stuff. Yeah, so let's go ahead and rally, but I don't want to spend a ton of money. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. We might need to tax, but I want to at least build up a little more of a lead so that we do have to do that, we will. So we'll go ahead and put a white pawn in way. We'll rally here. Ooh, I could tear here and start making that happen, but it's it's I'm not too worried about it. I mean, it's obviously firmly in control. I could put more gorillas up there. I have four available. I could put more in here and just secure it. I could try to start taking this over from the old NBA, but I don't know if I can do that. And we're going to rally here. So that's two spaces. That's 42 points. I don't know if I'm going to spend any more. That sounds pretty good. Uh, I could rally. Where else can I rally and subvert? I couldn't do that anywhere else. Everything else is pretty good, honestly. 
Yeah. Could rally and bend in. That would be not terrible. Wouldn't be great, though. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We're just going to rally in those two spaces and subvert. So it's going to cost us two resources. I'm going to put a gorilla in where? And I'm going to put a... I'm going to take two of these guys, return to available, return to available, and throw a base down. Hot. Uh, nice. Now we're going to subvert. We're going to subvert away. Do we want to take two away? The patronage is pretty low. I'm not terribly worried about them doing patronage, but it's not great either. Might as well just take away. I could do one and then have two. Honestly, they're hurting. I don't know if they're going to be able to do this. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and take away the police. We'll take away two police. So we're going to lower their patronage by one. And then we're not going to add a gorilla, right? If we just took one away, we could add a gorilla. If we take two away, we don't. That's okay with me. We'll just do that. I think that's actually totally a good, solid move. Yeah, next turn we're probably going to have to tax, I think. But at least I built up one more point for us to hold on to because when we tax we're going to lose a little bit of opposition and i'm and that's okay we might terror tax or do that kind of double move there okay in card play oops what did that do did i do that back then what did that do resets eligibility no i didn't mean to do that oh okay oh that's what that does oh so maybe i figured that out that's cool okay maybe i'm slowly learning all right discard Let's draw a card. Okay. So now we're on to this. Now we have our coin factions, and the U.S. is up first. Oh, the U.S. just got totally battered there. Uh, ADSID, that's it, or whatever. Air delivered seismic intrusion detector through the coup card. So this whole round, uh, minus six NBA resources at any trail change. That could be big. Um, the U.S. is just really hurting. The trail is at three. Resources are pretty high. Man, the U.S. is, like, reeling. The U.S. is absolutely reeling right now. Oh, in faction play. Get rid of those. Yeah, hot. Uh, God, that would be really helpful if I had more people, but now I lost all my troops. I lost so many troops. This is, like, absolutely brutal. i got to get the troops out of the places they're in, so I think we're going to have to do an op and special, and we're going to need to utilize some of our air power here. And by air power, I mean air lift. Any four spaces, we can redistribute troops and up to four irregulars, rangers, or arvin troops among the selected spaces. So we can pick four and then we can do something. What do we want to do? Um, we might want to airlift an assault. I still have a base here, but there's nobody activated there, so I can't kill anything. I lost my base here. Oh, that is just so brutal. I got hit so hard, but I think we're going to need to do that. We need to start taking cubes out. I could bring a bunch of guys in here and just take them out, which is probably going to... But then they could just ambush. Oh, this is this is looking yucky. Looking real yucky. Um, could take could bring them in here and kill those guys. Again, they have the gorillas to back them up. They have a gorilla here, so I can't just take out the base. That's That's really annoying, but I do need to start taking the fight to them. The mountains, I can't let them just start establishing things up here either. And I would like to maybe pacify a little bit. Oh, bugger. So we're going to have, I lost so many of my troops. I was getting ready to, to move these guys around with air power and just start wrecking house. But that's just not going to happen now. Ugh, this is just brutally bad. And I'm scared of gorillas because they can just ambush and kill two more guys. And I've already lost so many troops. Do you want to keep the base? All right, so we're just going to try to we're going to try to do what we wanted to do to begin with, and we're going to we're going to bring a bunch of guys in here and sweep. I think we're going to try to do that. We use our cobras to get rid of one guy. We'll get our guy out here. So we're going to put a pawn here. We got four spaces to choose from. So that's one, two. This will be the third space. Is there a fourth space? Do I even have troops somewhere else? I could also bring some Arvin, but the Arvin needs to rally Hella because they have like nothing on the board either. Could bring in a regular uh, a ranger with me. I already have one up there. I already have a bunch of that, so that's what we'll do. We'll just do that, and then we'll sweep as our regular activity. So I will bring in. You will come to the north. Get you the hell out of there, buddy. And then we're going to bring... i got to leave one guy behind to keep Saigon like nominally under control. 
I'm a little worried Saigon's going to get hit pretty hard soon, but that's just the way it's going to be. We're going to have to hopefully. I think the Arvid's going to have to rally because they need they need cubes really badly to get more control and to hold things down. So we'll sweep here. Uh, market active. Market active, dude. All right. So now if they want to do the tax move, they can't do the terror tax because they'll know they'll lose this very quickly if they don't put these guys back underground. And I have a base here, so I get a one for one in the mountains. Normally you get two for one, but you don't. I also remove a guy. Because of Cobra's Cobra. Um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. All right. So now we got to do either limited op or event. What is the event on here? Oh, yeah, they could do that. They could take that and help out the U.S. a little bit. I mean, the NVA is going to... So brutal. So brutal. Um, I could do Vietnamization, but I don't want to. because I have to. Do, actually, I couldn't. Because they have to be the first. The first eligible can't have gone. Um, so I could have done that earlier. Nah, I'll save it for a minute. I think what we're going to do is we're going to rally, and we're going to rally in Saigon, because I'm really afraid that like a bunch of troops or guerrillas or other things are just going to start moving into Saigon. So let's go ahead and use our limited op to train there. It's going to be three resources. Oh, we still we have a lot. Three. Uh, Arvin, train. Yep, yep, yep. Three resources in a city or U.S. Arvin base. Place one to two rangers or up to six cubes. And we could pass five, but we're not going to worry about that. So let's go ahead and just bring in six uh, troops. I think I'm going to need as many boots on the ground as possible right now. So let's go ahead and bring those guys into Saigon. Brutal, brutal. So wait, if I hit end uh, card play, will this magically move? Yeah, it will magically do that. That's pretty hot. And that moved it to discard. Wow. That actually did. I think I'm learning. I think I'm learning, guys. I think I'm learning. Let's draw a card. Oh man, VC up first again. Cadres, this is a capability, so it could be good for them. Unshaded, VC to terror agitate must remove two VC gorillas. See, that would have been nice, but I, I could not have held on to that because the even if the Arvin had passed, they wouldn't have been able to go first on this, so there was no way I was going to be able to get that ability. VC capability in a, in a left village uh, committees. In the VC rally in one space where VC already had a base, it may agitate as if support phase, even if coin control. So the VC rally, so in one space, when you rally in one space where the VC already had a base, it may agitate as if support phase, even if coin control. So that just means you could do it for free, which is pretty hot, but you have to have a base there first. And I already have, like everything I have a base in is already active, so I don't really need that event. And I'm not worried about the, maybe, I mean, they could sabotage me by taking out the NVA, but I don't think they will. So we're gonna do an off and special. I think we're up to terror tax. We need some resources. I think we desperately need resources. That would that would be hot. So what was what does terror tax mean? Remember, we can choose the way we do our events. So we can, I believe, tax in what three spaces, four spaces? How many can we do that in? Four spaces: underground BC and no coin control. Hot. We'll do that here. Oh. Could do that here in TNN, couldn't I? Yeah, I think we do. This is not coin control. Wait, let's double check. Underground BC Gorilla, no coin control. Yes, then we will definitely do that in TNN. Um, oh, although I will lose two if I do that. Never mind. The whole point of terror taxing is to get it right back. So we'll do a black pawn there. Actually, the terror tax here doesn't do. Wait, tax gives us one times the population, right? Equal to econ or twice the population. Oh, the econ values of Rano LOC. That's right. I was like, wait, we get econ value? That's really high. No, that's the um, the econ value of the LOC. Or twice the population. So no, actually, this is fine. We will still do that here. We'll do that here. That's two spaces. Go ahead and do that here, I guess. That's three spaces. I would love to have done it up there. We cannot. And I'll do it here. Four spaces. Okay. In each one of those spaces, I'm going to terror as well. So what that effectively would do is when I tax, remember we... I think we activate the gorilla, right? Activate a gorilla, shift it one level to support, and then add BC resources equal to twice the population. So normally I would, you know, mark this guy active and then shift this down to passive opposition, right? Because I'm taxing it. But I'm also going to terror it. And to terror, I believe I have to also activate one. In each such space, activate an underground gorilla, and then we shift it one level to active and we place a terror marker. So basically I'm not gonna do the shift, but I am gonna activate two gorillas. This leaves this kind of open. The US might take advantage of that. And we'll add a terror marker. 
and we'll add a terror marker. Ooh, this does leave me very open to like bombing, but I think I'm I'm gonna take a little risk. We just we just need it. And add a terror marker, and then where was the fourth space? Oh, it was up here. And then add a terror marker. Okay, so I'm gonna get four because that was a two space. That's four. I spent four on the on the terrors. Okay, so essentially this negates all the terror costs. This one space. So I'm gonna add the rest here. We're gonna get two, four, eight. So this is worth four. That's worth two. That's worth two. So that's eight total resources that we net. Again, I'm just sort of doing that on the fly, right? Because this one space pays for all the terrors. It's a two population space, and all of our terrors cost one. All right, so that gave us resources. This ought to give us just enough to like get through the war. I could also terror, I guess, here. Okay, that's what we're gonna do too. We're gonna terror here. No, 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 no. Just for funsies, we'll do that. And I'll tell you why we're gonna do that, because this gets us two opposition. That builds us up even more. I'm not too worried about tearing Da Nang. I don't want to want to pay a ton of money. Okay, so we're gonna we're actually gonna net us one down because we did that. Yeah, I'm not worried about building support at all. That is not something I am like worried about at all. So we'll do that. Was there any other place I could opportunistically tear? No. No, we're good. Okay. In faction play. The NBA now gets a limited op or event. Uh, they could pass because they do go first on this, and they might want to do that. Remove any four pieces from North Vietnam or once none Laos degrade the Ooh, see that would be not great. Um, and I don't want the U.S. to actually get that uh, explosion on CB. One available U.S. troop is out of play, and through the next car, the next troop, no degrading of the trail. That's really hot. That's actually really hot. from North Vietnam, but that's only like those two pieces. I don't really care if they remove those two pieces, honestly. Or once none, Laos. Laos I do care about. So they would get rid of two and they could get rid of two in Laos and that could actually hurt me a lot. And I am trying to build up that. Do I want to pass? I mean, it's just a limited upper event. I think we will pass. Since there's no one else to take the event, we will pass. We'll add a resource that actually is like semi-helpful to get a resource. All right. Uh, in card play, is that gonna work? Yeah, that worked out great. And I just, I'm getting so much better at this. We're gonna draw a card. Okay, so we had this event, we get to go first on it. Do we wanna take the event? Troop, one available US troop out of play. They already are hurting so bad on that. I'm not terribly worried. And through the next coup card, no degradation of the trail. I'm not really too worried about the trail either. It's already at three. The U.S. has so many problems. I don't think they're going to want to spend air power points on killing the trail, even though they probably need to. <sighs> I think what we're going to do is we're going to do an op and no special so that the next faction, which is the U.S., has to take a limb op or pass. And uh, they may want to pass anyway because of the Rolling Thunder. Oh, that's pretty hot. To create the trail, two boxes. Oh, that is so hot. Actually, that's pretty great. I don't know. Do I want to take the risk that if I do an often special, they would want to take the event? They may like that event too much. I may do the often special. Let's just do that. Let's just do it. So what would the NBA wants to do? They want to build bases and improve and get more control. So they probably want to put more troops out. We want to replenish our troop count. The way we're going to do that is we're probably going to rally and infiltrate again. And we can do that in as many spaces as we want. We're not going to, wow, we could improve the trail. Because see, if we improve the trail to four, we can march in and out of Laos and Cambodia, cost zero resources. And that's, that's pretty choice. Where would we want to bring more guys into? We probably want to keep putting pressure on Quang Tree if they're going to keep doing that. So I like that idea. So let's go ahead and do that. Op and special. Let's rally and infiltrate. We'll rally here and we'll infiltrate here. Let's go ahead and uh, just, I guess, rally and infiltrate here. Let's go ahead and rally and infiltrate here. And then we'll rally and infiltrate here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to rally in four spaces. Infiltrate is free. Or one or two spaces we can pick for infiltrate. Okay, so let's actually pick... 
Oh, I do want to, let's do Laos and let's do Quang Ten. Yeah, let's do that. So these we will um, get rid of the black pawns. We won't worry about that too much. We will get more gorillas down there. So it's going to cost us four resources because rally costs us one. And we're not going to improve. The, well, we could improve the trail. We do have resources. Two, three, four. So we're doing four rallies. And why not? Let's improve the trail. Let's just make it even more awesome. But the trail comes last. So we're going to rally first and then infiltrate. So rally lets us put one gorilla or replace two of the base. If it's an NBA base, you may instead place NBA gorillas up to the trail value plus NBA bases. So I'm going to put gorillas here. I'm, I'm going to do that here in Kwong Ten. So we're going to put in trail value plus bases. So that's four gorillas there. Oh, I'm out of gorillas. I don't have any gorillas to place. I'd have to steal them from other places. All right, we're going to take that guy off the route there. I'm going to take this guy off the route here. And I'm going to take this one out of play too. I'm only going to put three here because I'd, I'd like to get another base later and we just won't be able to do that. Um, I want to rally here. So I'll take this one out of North Vietnam. I don't care about that. Take this guy off the route again. Uh, I could put two more if I want. What else do I have gorillas? I kind of want to keep that control. I kind of want to keep this control. Boy, maybe I won't be able to do as much as I want. So I'm all out of gorillas. We're going to replace them with troops though soon. So next round, it shouldn't be so bad. Man, I really am like hamstrung on gorillas. I don't want to give that up. Okay, we'll take it out of the fish hook. Oh, we're rallying the fish hook. You know what we're not going to do? We're not going to rally in the fish hook. Although the fish hook touches all these, and that's pretty hot spaces. Yeah, we won't rally in the fish hook, so give me back a resource. We are going to just take this guy out of the fish hook and put one there. I don't really want to take any more gorillas, honestly. Well, I'll take one out of Quang Dog. Fuck it. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, sorry. I cursed again. My bad. Sorry, children. Sorry, children. All right, we'll do that. It's probably not the most optimal rallies, but that'll work. And then we'll infiltrate. So in the two spaces I chose, Central Laos and Quang Ten, we can, uh, if a base, place NBA troops up to trail plus bases, and if desired, replace gorillas with troops. So trail plus, oh, we improved the trail to four. Hot. So we get trail plus bases. So we have four plus one here. We can put five cubes there. Just having this base here is, is tremendously useful. And then I'm gonna replace two of these gorillas with more troops cubes. So we got a fresh set of troops guys to move around. In here, we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna put in, was that four, six cubes? And then we're gonna replace these three with troops. So that pretty much almost brought us back up to full strength in terms of just on the board presence of NVA troops cubes. That's pretty hot. That's actually really hot. Okay, and faction play. Oh man, the NVA is just, the NVA is in the driver's seat and is in control. The US. Does it want to take this? Remove four spaces from North Vietnam. It could take the event, which would be pretty great. Does it want to take this one though instead? Yeah, because then it keeps them ineligible and it takes away nine resources. This only takes away pieces and degrades the trail two boxes, but this does the same thing, but takes away the resources and I like that better. So what we're going to do is, and check this out. Oh, he's up. All right, we'll finish this card off and then we got to stop. So we'll do the pass. Arvin gets three resources. One, two, three. All right, we're going to go, so that they pass. They're going to choose limited op or event. You know what they're going to do? They're going to take the event. They probably want to add guys too, but I think they're going to take, no, we need to get more cubes on the board. I'd love to take that event, but we just need more cubes. We need more things to fight stuff. And I'm going to, can't choose way, can I? Uh, oh, my kid's freaking out. I got to go upstairs. Uh, in a city or U.S. Arvin base place. Okay, so I can't. Oh, it has to be your safe arms without NBA control. Oh, it has to be without NBA control. So they don't have NBA control here. So we're going to rally in way for three resources. And we're going to add in six troops. Yeah, we're going to add in six police. That's what we're going to do. Boom. Not as, not as like super dope, but it's going to work. 
All right, when we come back, we're going to keep playing. We're going to have to really worry about the NBA. And wow, it's, it's starting to heat up. I think it's, uh, it's going to be a very interesting round. All right, see you later.